Welcome back to Engine. Today we will be looking at the created collaboration rooms. Starting in the waffle, select the created icon. Once you are in created, you may search for a room if you know the name. You may create your own room. Below the My Collaboration Rooms tab, your rooms will appear as you join them. Today let's begin at Public Collaboration Rooms so you can see what is available. Once you find a room you are interested in joining, click Join. Click Join this community to confirm. You have successfully joined your first created collaboration room called Welcome to Engine. A note about navigation, when you enter Engine next time and land on the My Engine page, this room will show up under the My Rooms tab and you may access it by clicking on the name of the room. Similarly, when you enter Created, this room will now appear under the My Collaboration Rooms tab. Enter it by clicking on the title Welcome to Engine. Back inside the room, we will begin by looking at the video conferencing functionality. Enter the meeting by clicking Start Video. Notice there does not need to be a scheduled meeting or a specific time. These video conferencing rooms are always available for you to use. Type your name and notice below the Join Meeting button are options that you can set prior to entering the room. You can mute or unmute, you can shut your camera off or turn it on, you can invite other people, you can set your background or blur your background, or look at these settings. When you are ready, click Join Meeting. Once you are in the meeting, your mouse over in this area of the screen will show your options. These are similar to the things you saw before you came in, mute and unmute, your video options, this is how you would share your screen. If you would like to share your screen, simply click that icon and notice the three options here. If you are sharing one tab of your browser, you would use this first option. If you are sharing multiple tabs within a browser, you would choose to share your window. If you are choosing to share multiple applications or programs, you would share your entire screen. Once you are ready to share, select the tab, window, or screen you would like to share and click Share. I want to direct your attention to the top of the screen. This blue box indicates the window that you are sharing. This Jitsi meeting engine with the red circle is where the video conferencing is actually happening. So if you wanted to go back into the meeting, you would click on this tab. You're welcome to engine created collaboration room is still there but it is in a separate tab shown here. Notice that while you're in a meeting another user may also share their screen. So multiple users can share their screens at the same time. Again you can toggle your view so you can see people or screens. When you are done sharing your screen you may stop sharing by clicking on the icon in this bar or towards the top of your window it says stop sharing. Other ways to communicate with people in the room are using the chat feature. When somebody puts something in the chat a small number will appear to alert you to a message there. Click on open chat and the chat will appear on the left sidebar. If you would like to participate in the conversation, this button now allows you to raise your hand so people will know you have something you would like to say without interrupting someone else. There are also some reactions in here if you would like to react to something someone else said, which is kind of fun. When you are ready to leave the meeting, click the red leave the meeting button. And a reminder that we were in a new tab for the video conferencing meeting called Jitsi. You can close this tab or click over into the Welcome to Engine tab to be back in Engine in your co created collaboration room. Mm -hmm.